Okay, this is going to be uh, the lecture for moving average method. Okay, so we have two types of uh, moving average. One is what we call as odd number of period, which is going to be either 3, 5, 7 and so on. And the other one would be uh, what we call as even period. Okay, so this is even period. So for even period, it might be 2, 4, 6 and so on. Okay, so the first thing is to uh, see the, the difference between the odd and the even period. When you want to calculate the uh, trend values, we have one extra column over here which is uh, for standard moving total. Okay, for the odd period, for the odd period, we just have moving total and straight away the moving average. We don't have the centered moving total because it's already centered. Okay, now I'm going to show you on how to calculate the odd number of period to find the trend values. Okay, trend values is the last column over here. This is also known as the moving average. Okay, so by looking at the question, try to understand the question first. Calculate a 5 years moving average to smooth the time series of the production from the year 2002 until 2015 so here is clearly mentioned you have to calculate a 5 year moving average so 5 year moving average 5 years moving average is going to be an odd numbers ok so the first thing first is to rearrange your data ok this is arrangement of your data I mean you just uh, start from the year starting year of 2002 until 2015 you just list all the data that you have and then you will be having the column of moving total here so what does it mean by moving total you just have to add up okay the first five data for example 130 149 144 175 and 161 and the first five data is uh, equals when you total up the first five data is equals to seven five nine so seven five nine is actually coming from the first five data okay so for you to get the next value of seven eight seven is actually the next second five data okay you are going to proceed doing this until you uh, get the total of the last five data okay the last five data over here Okay, so you can see that we start with the third uh, row, writing the total on the third row because of when we look at uh, five different data, the middle of five is going to be the third one. The middle of five, one, two, three, four, five, the middle is going to be at the third row. So that's why your first value of moving total is located at the third row. Okay. So, these are all the total. You have to continue this until your last 5 data. And your last total will be over here. Because of we are going to stop at the last 5 data that we have over here. Okay. That is for moving total. The next one is going to be what you call as moving average. How do we get the moving average? Coming from the word average, we know that average is by having the total, you need to divide by the number of to uh, data that you have already added just now. Okay, so just now we have just add uh, five uh, different data. So when you want to find the average, of course you divide by five over here. Over here, so that's why we have moving total divided by five. It depends on the number of periods that you add up just now. Okay, so the name given to the last column here is the moving average, or you can also give the name of trend so this is basically the trend values of our data okay you have to proceed doing this until uh, the last place of uh, 2013 okay 2013 because of we have the last five data and that is going to be the last place of having that value Okay, now is the turn for uh, even period. So we have four yearly moving average for the following data. 
so why is it even because of four year okay we are talking about four number four over here so that is considered to be an even number okay so when it comes to even number you can see that we have to put the gaps in between uh every year we have to put the gaps in between the years in order to make sure that when you write when you write the total, it is not going to be on the line. It is not going to be on the line. It is going to be in between the lines. Okay, in between the lines. Meaning, it is not going to be written uh, on the line itself. But we have the uh, row to write our total values. Okay. So, for even period, we can see that we have the moving total. And then, we need to make sure that the moving total is uh, centered first being centered first meaning after you get the total of the uh, four data that we have here and then we'll be having the center value how do we get the center value of course by looking at the meaning of the word center we add this one and this one and divide by two so this is going to be the middle of these two values okay and for you to find the trend, of course, it's just the same as before. We are talking or dealing with four different uh, data just now. So, four different data, of course, your total that we have over here, our centered moving total will be divided by four. Okay, so we are going to proceed this un until the last four data. Thank you.